What is happening, everybody on YouTube? Steve here with Raking Profit over at rakingprofit.com. Coming back to you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you everything I found today hitting garage sales on a Saturday morning. 29 years old. I'm from Connecticut, and I went garage selling. Started at 8, 8 in the morning, and we ended around, around noon. So we went out for about four hours, and when I say we, my buddy Tim and I went together. And uh, this is what I found. Let me see if I can pan in for you. All this stuff down here. And I'm going to share with you guys exactly what I got and uh, share with you why I bought it and what it's worth. So let me check my screen. I got a different camera set up here. Let me make sure we're working okay. Let me know, guys. Can you hear me and can you see me okay? Let me do a quick test before I dive into this. Bear with me one moment. Okay. Okay, looks like the sound is working. It looks like the video is working. Let me know right now, guys, if you're excited to see what I found today. And I'm going to tell you, I found some killer items. Give me a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below because we're going to get into some awesome items. And I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy this. All right, everyone says I'm good. If you're wondering what I'm doing, my computer's set up over here. So I am... Just checking the comments and making sure that everything is running smooth. What's up, Jeff? Sheila, good to see ya. Daniel, Heather, Ashley, what's going on? Boss Babe Mom, I love that name. Good to see you guys. You guys are rocking. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the love. Let me know in the comment section, guys. How did you do today out garage selling? Did you find any goodies? Did you get skunked? Did you just murder it and just demolish garage sales and find a bunch of stuff? Let me know. So it looks like we're okay. Let's get into it, guys. Let's dive in. So here's an awesome find that I came across. These are two tennis rackets. Tennis rackets, I'm not an expert when it comes to tennis rackets, but I can always tell when it feels like quality. Like I know the brand Head is a respectable brand. So all I did was it was five bucks each. I tried to negotiate. Um, she wouldn't, she wouldn't bring the um the price down at all but uh five bucks each head and the model was liquid metal four so i didn't spend a ton of time in the sold listings but i'll tell you right now if you find the right tennis rackets they can bring you in some good money i'm gonna guess 50 bucks each i may be off maybe 40 maybe 70 because i saw some going really high some going a little lower so again i'm not like like with clothing i can tell you right what it's worth like pretty close this I'm not sure, but for five bucks each, that's going to be, be a very, very profitable find right there. Thanks for all the likes, everybody. I appreciate that. Here we have, I believe this is a fish finder. This is a Lawrence Global Map 5200C. I believe this is a fish finder. I may be wrong. I sold one of these the other day. Global Map 5200C, not tested. I couldn't test it. I did talk to the owner, and you're going to come in a situation where it's an electronic item, and you're not going to be able to test it, and you're going to have to feel out the owner. Uh, one through ten in terms of the owner being super sketchy, he was about a five or a six, so it may not work. I don't know how I'm going to test it. I might just sell this for parts, but the GPS alone without any of the – or the whatever this is, it's sonar or some type of GPS, um, I've got to do some more research. I think I could probably get at least 50 for parts. Just sell it as is untested um, because the ones that are working are going for at least 100. And if you have all the cords, up to 150 to 200. So that's one of those risk and reward uh, type of deals right there. So uh, Tom is saying, nice, Lawrence is good. Uh, somebody said, Bob says, I have to stop watching your video on Linda's stuff to see what you got. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys some crazy stuff. Let me know right now, guys, in the comments section, Right, crazy stuff if you want to see the crazy stuff first. Or I want you to type strawberries if you want me to wait. It's weird. It's kind of weird. Strawberries if you want me to wait. Or crazy stuff if you want to see the crazy stuff now. Let's see what people have to say. Do we got crazy stuff or do we have strawberries? Maria is saying crazy stuff. And if you can't tell, strawberries are on my mind because I just made an amazing smoothie with strawberries. It was great. Man, no. Oh, Tom. Tom's interested in the strawberries. Oh, resale junkie. Sorry, Tom. I'm, I'm sorry, junkie. There's too many crazy stuffs coming in. So 
Are you guys ready to get your socks blown off? Are you ready? Let me show you something crazy. Where is it? I got so much stuff. All right, guys. Right here, I have a leather bomber jacket. I paid two, two dollars for this. Two dollars from a reseller. From a reseller. So this reseller, his business model was buying um, storage storage units, and I could tell he didn't know anything about clothing. This is 100% real. These do not get faked. These are older, almost like vintage, if you want to call it that. Can you guess what this is for two bucks? Who's ready? If for any clothing people, Ronnie Hart, um, Luke with Endless Entrepreneurs, Prop Sales, you're going to get excited if you're watching. Any guesses, guys? It's a leather bomber jacket. Any guesses on the brand? Short. Nope, it's not that brand or Scott. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that's an amazing brand that you mentioned. All right, I'm gonna just show you guys right now. LL Bean Freeport, Maine. This is the good stuff. A lot of you guys might be thinking, LL Bean, Steve, that's not that good. Ooh, if you find the right stuff with LL Bean, kind of like Ralph Lauren Polo, if you find that vintage, the bear or the skiing or the 1992 stadium, it's big money. Find the LL Bean Freeport, Maine in like a bomber jacket, and you've got some good money. $2, I swear, $2. I could not believe it when he said that. This probably go for around, I don't know, 60 to 100, maybe more. I'm very conservative when I say my numbers. I just want to let you guys know. It could go for more, um, but at least 60 to 80 bucks right there. So anybody who knows clothing, how amazing of a find is this for two bucks? Um, are there any flaws? No. This thing is in spectacular condition. Oh boy, you are a pretty little, let me see if I can put this thing on. <clears throat> it's a little too small for me, but uh, you know, if I was going off to war or something, uh, or you know, I was gonna go fly my airplane, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty nice. So I'm looking sexy. Ladies, I have a girlfriend, back off. I know this, um, Jackets getting you going, but you're gonna have to respect this YouTube video. I hope you guys know I'm joking. Um, at that same sale, I'm gonna need you guys' help. Can you guys agree to help me out? And I know I, I probably can't count on you guys for this because you can't count on anybody for this because nobody knows the answer. But I'm gonna try to count on you guys. Let me know what you think. At the same sale, for a dollar each, true religion jeans. Okay, I want you guys to tell me if they're real or fake. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not trying to diss you guys, but I said that I can't count on you because I've actually gone to true religion stores, like retail stores, and I posted on Facebook, are these real or fake? Just kind of trolling you guys to see what you would say, to see if, if people know their stuff. And 99% of the people say it's fake and it's 100% real. So that's why I'm saying you can't trust everybody, but um, I don't know. I wanna say they're real. They feel real. The buttons look good. The tag, I'd say the tag looks good. I mean, I've sold, I've, I've, I've studied this brand. It looks good. I'm not 100% sure. I have to do some more research, but this was a dollar. So I'm not going to count my uh, chickens before the eggs hatch because I'm just not sure. But that was a dollar. And then here's another pair of True Religion jeans. The quality feels good. The stitching looks good i don't see anything off center the buttons look good the tag looks good i just don't know i don't know how to authenticate these things but a buck each how crazy is that somebody left a comment on one of my videos this morning i i did a live video showing uh or talking about how to find garage sales i talked about a uh, yard sale uh, treasure map i talked about craigslist and somebody left a comment saying steve you're full of crap you can't find clothing at garage sales you can only find kids' clothing. Stop BSing everybody or something. I don't, I don't remember what it was. And I wasn't hating, but some people attacked the crap out of this guy in the comments. And I felt like, you know what? I got I to gotta go find some clothes today. And oh, boy, did I find clothes. This isn't a huge win, but this is an Aeropostel leather jacket. So the, um, the outer shell is 100% leather, uh, Sherpa lining, and 100% acrylic and nylon filler. So... Um, one dollar. I don't know what this is going to go for, 30 bucks or so, but a pretty nice find. Five bucks. 
Miami Dolphins Pro Line Starter Jacket. Spectacular condition, 9 out of 10. These usually come very beat up. Check out the big patch on the back. Bada bing, bada boom. Can you guys finish a sentence for me? What am I going to say? Bada bing, bada boom. See if, see if we have any diehard followers here. Um, obviously, I'm excited today, guys. Check this out. Found one that sold for 55. I'll probably shoot for that as well. Shall we continue the clothing? I know a lot of you folks go out garage selling. You don't find clothing. There is so much money to be made out there with clothing. If you know what you're doing, it's, it's bonkers. Uh, E-I-T-A-N, Norang says, super crazy. Jeff says he should have uh, come to my sale today. 11 shorts, 9 pullover shirts, Nike jacket. Beautiful. Yes, Maggie Hall. Bada bing, bada boom. The profits are coming soon. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to breastfeed you with a spoon. <laughs> Resale junkie. What the heck? That's awesome, guys. Um, this was a surprising find. This is a North Phase vest. Really, really nice North Phase vest. Beautiful color. Uh, the shell's 100% nylon. Uh, insulation polyester. <coughs> Tell me that's not a beauty. Look at that. North Phase. Very, very nice. Five bucks. I didn't even look it up. I mean, 30 bucks all day. I don't know. Maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. That's a beauty. Probably well over 100 in the store. Um, I just got this because it was there. American Eagle jeans. Great condition. One dollar. You know, probably put them up for 15 or 20 bucks. Nothing special. I usually try to keep my, um, my price like 25 or 30, but I just, it was there. I just picked it up. All right, story time. So I went to this church sale and there was like 20 different people set up. And then across the street, there was a house there and they had a big yard sale going on. And the guy running the sale had this around his, his neck and he had his money and everything in there. And this is a really, really good trick for you guys to do. This is a big tip. If you ever see the owner of a garage sale, in possession of something that you want, but it doesn't look like it's for sale, whether it's a, a bike in the garage or one of these little bags. I think this is a woman's bag. If you want it, make a joke and see what happens. So I went by him and I said, uh, how's your day going? He's like, oh, it's going well, you know, just trying to get rid of stuff. And I said, cool, cool. I said, I wish I could help you out, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't really find anything. And then I started walking. I said, Hey man, too bad that bag wasn't for sale around your neck. I'd buy that off you all day long. And I just laughed and he laughed. And then he's like, well, if I find another bag, I'll sell it to you. Ralph Lauren Polo Sport and uh, two bucks, two dollars. I got it for two bucks, probably 30 bucks, 35. I saw some uh, similar ones that sold for 25, 30, 35. So at least 20 for this, two bucks. I mean, pretty cool. Ralph Lauren Polo Sport, it's hard to come across. You may be thinking, that um, it's not legit. Now somebody says the north, the north of fate. Okay, let's bring that back up because can you guys tell me if this is fake? What made you thought it was fake? Because at that same um, garage sale, it did. There was another North Face there, and it looked fake. So give me some education, guys. I am not an expert when it comes to authenticating. Uh, somebody said the North Face is fake. What about it makes you think it's fake? I mean, the tag looks good. I mean, the logo looks good. Is there something that I don't know? I mean, the, everything looks good inside the patch. So I'm curious. Well, I'll be back to, to see what folks are saying. Someone's saying it's real. I mean, it feels really nice. But there was a fake North Phase there as well. So that sketched me out. So you could be right. So let me know what you know. All right, guys. Here's another crazy clothing find that I came across. This is a leather uh, Walter Dyer leather vest. Really, really nice. I paid 20 bucks for this. I did pay up for it. This guy knew what he was doing. Uh, I'll check for the RN in a second. But check this out. A Harley Davidson patch on the back. I saw one that sold for $66 plus shipping. So for 20 bucks and you know, six or seven bucks to ship this out, I think I've got some money uh, left over to double my money. So, you know, pretty strong brand right there. Harley Davidson patch on the back. 
20 bucks. I think I will do okay on that. So someone said this was fake. So I'm going to look for the RN number. Let's open this up. I mean, this thing looks super legit. I don't know where it is right now. I'll check after. But I think it's real. Okay, uh, here's a quick tip. This was an open box ink. Three inks inside. Uh, a buck. I got it for a buck. You can lock these up, even if they're expired, and sell them. This one, she just threw it in. It looks like it was already used. But these alone will probably go for 15 bucks. I paid a buck. So it's just money sitting on the table. Epson ink. Uh, speaking of ink, I want to give you guys a quick tip. This was another ninja tip that I uh, want to share with you guys. So this was another garage sale. There was a really big printer. And as of late, I shared with you guys my um, the efforts I've been making to avoid buying items that end up in the death pile. And what a death pile is is essentially a pile of items that you never really get to. It just sits and sits and sits. And for one reason or another, you just don't list it. For me, one of my weaknesses is dealing with bigger items, bigger electronics, having to test things. I just don't like to do it, so I'm trying my best to avoid that. Is it the smartest move? Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but I'm trying to avoid stress and keep my items moving. So, there was a printer with a whole bunch of ink, and most people would just, you know, maybe they know that the ink's worth money, but they see it as a bundle, so they don't say anything. Always ask whether it's video games or it's a printer with ink or it's some type of bundle. Always ask them if there's something that you want. Ask them if they'll split it up. I just went up and I said, hey, what's going on? I said, I got a question for you. Um, if you don't do it, it's fine. I just figured I would ask. But I see that you have a printer over there and you got some ink. I was curious, would you would you sell the ink uh, sell the ink to me only? I said, it's, it's expired as well. So... Um, I'll take it off your hands. And they walked over and they're like, oh, yeah, it is expired. That's fine. You could you could have it. How about uh, five bucks? So I got a whole bunch of ink. It's not the best ink. I'll probably sell the lot for, honestly, I didn't even look at the ink. I, there's only one of them that I know. Um, but it's probably like 20 bucks or so. So it's not a huge home run, but it might sell for 50 or 60. I'm not sure. But always ask. I'm going to go into the comments real quick and see what's going on over here. Yes, expired ink sells very well. Yeah, Damien sold some Epson 200 ink today. Cool. All right. So I'm just looking at the comments. We have 145 people watching right now. You guys, do me a big favor and hit the like button. I want to see if we can get to 100 likes within the next one minute. Let's see how many likes that we can get up to. 143 people watching. We're at 43, 44. Come on, guys. I'm waiting. I'm watching right now. Or a lot of people driving in the car right now. Don't kill yourself. If you're driving or doing something dangerous, do not hit the like button. But if you're just looking at the like button, just hit it. Just give, give me a little bit of love. All right, guys. Let's keep moving. We're going to move a little quicker. Um, common sense stuff. New in the box. Trivia. Uh, trivia pursuit. Uh, two bucks. $40. Um, jigsaw puzzle, one dollar. I think it was like twenty something bucks. Star Wars puzzle, no sellers. Didn't check the price history. A buck. I don't know. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I really don't know, but it's a buck and it's Star Wars, brand new. Uh, church sale, murder mystery, a uh, dollar, twenty-two dollars. Make about eight bucks profit. We'll save this for a second. So if you guys are into the, 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 the pickup game or the dating scene, one of the biggest uh, names is David D'Angelo. And he has a CD set called uh, Interviewing with Dating Gurus. Paid a buck, I don't know, 10 or 12 bucks. Nothing big, but it was just sitting there. So scooped it up. Another uh, DVD set, 50 cents. I think it sells for 12, but you guys – when you're selling on Amazon FBA, you can buy 10, 12, 14 dollar items if the fees aren't too high in the item, right? You've got to check what the fees are. But this, it'll take me 30 seconds to process and I'll make four bucks profit. So, you know, if you're there and you sell on Amazon, just pick it up. 
Uh, paid a buck for this book right here, uh, Instructing Yoga, something yoga. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, 47 bucks. You guys look this up right now. I believe it was 40 something. Where's my phone? I'm gonna just scan it. I wanna make sure I'm giving you guys accurate information here. Pull out my Amazon app. Okay. So uh, you guys probably can't see that. Let me see if I can zoom it in. Will it focus? Yes. Um, $47, three FBA offers, 33 at Merchant Fulfilled. I'm going FBA, 47 bucks, paid a buck. I'll make approximately $33. Respectable rank, good reviews. So bada bing, bada boom, the profits are coming soon. Hey, thanks for all the likes, guys. Appreciate that. When you're out garage selling, you can always buy things for yourself. Five bucks, DSLR uh, camera bag. I'm going to put my Canon 70D in there. In the store, probably cost me 50 bucks. At a garage sale from a photographer who has too much stuff, five bucks. Nice metal uh, clips right here. That's a nice feature. Oh, yeah, inside too at the same garage sale. I forgot I put it in there. Uh, this is a, a battery charger, brand new in the box. You guys, you got to get on Amazon FBA because anything brand new, whether it's video games, puzzles, you know, random accessories like this, if it's not restricted, which sometimes it is, could bring you in good money. 5,000 ranking camera, extremely, um, extremely profitable, probably make about 20 bucks profit on a $5 investment. I like it. Question. Do you guys want to hear a crazy story about a crazy lady? If you guys want to hear a crazy story about a crazy lady, let me know in the comments. I want you to type, I want you to type, tell me the story. I want to see if you guys are listening. Do you want to hear the story about a crazy woman at a garage sale today? She was a whack job. I don't know what was going on with this woman. She thought I, she was calling me a liar. She really did not like me one bit. She really did not like me. This girl freaking hated my guts. So people want to hear the story. So I'm at the garage sale. It's the same one where I found the um, American Eagle jeans. What else did I find there? Oh, yeah. I found the American Eagle jeans, and I found this there for a dollar. So I was going through the clothing inside of these, these tubs, and I picked out the American Eagle jeans. I picked out, um, I don't know, maybe another. Did I pick out another piece of clothing there? I don't know. But I know I got the American Eagle jeans out of the tub, and then I found this hat. I pulled it out of the tub. And I went to go pay, and I asked them how much for everything, and they said uh, three bucks. Oh yeah, I got the Aeropostale jacket there too, so uh, three bucks, and then I ended up getting this. So anyways, I'm getting ready to pay, and this woman looks at me, and she goes, where's, well, she's actually like talking to herself. She's like looking around, she's like, where's my hat? Where's my hat? Where's my hat? And then she looks at me and sees the hat in my hand, and she's like, you stole my hat. And I said, what? She says, yeah, it was sitting on the table over there and you stole my hat. And I said, no, I pulled this out of the bin. And she says, well, she kind of just let it go. And then I went to pay for it. And after I paid for it, she's like, I can't believe you stole my hat. You, why won't you just tell the truth? Like, I don't know. She was saying a bunch of nonsense. And I'm like, listen, I bought the hat. I paid for it. I got it out of the bin. I did not take it off the table. I don't even care about this hat that much. And I was walking around. I was like, do you really want it? You could have the hat. She's like, no. And then she's like just mumbling under her voice. I'm like, you know what? You're a, so get it. Like why are, why are people getting so stressed out? It's a stupid used hat. And she's like getting so worked up about it. I'm like, listen, lady, you can have the hat. I didn't steal your hat. I don't even care about the hat. Nonsense. Uh, found a bunch of books, guys. Like a lot of books. I think this was going for 20. I paid a buck or two for each. Of these, some of them I got them for like 50 cents or a dollar. Some people are just wacky. Uh, here's another book. I don't remember what they're all going for, but they're all profitable. These are textbooks, geology, photography, drawing. Look for the Thompson books. Look for the Pearson books. Um, here's some more stuff I found. I found some DVDs, brand new, going for 15 on FBA. This will go for about 20 something DVD on eBay. Puzzle, a buck, as you can see. I don't know how much it's going for. Probably like 20 bucks, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. These are some good finds. Uh, paid three bucks in total. I got a buck off. These are um, picture paper for Kodak. Did a quick search. I think I get 
15 to 20 or 23 bucks each for these. These are brand new. So don't pass up on these smalls, guys. You know, these smalls will add up a $10 profit here, a $9 profit there. It'll add up to 100 bucks really, really quick. So don't pass that up. Oh, yeah, here's some good finds. I got some Wagner cast iron. Sorry, that was loud. I got some Wagner cast iron pans. Here's a small little one right here, Wagner 1891. A, I think this is an eight-inch one, a Wagner. These are all 1891 Wagner cast iron pans. Um, I'm gonna sell these in a lot because somebody's gonna want this. Uh, in total, I paid 12 bucks for all three. They wanted initially uh, 15, so I got them for 12. You might be able to see some of the prices. See, this one was six. Uh, Wagner. I've had some good. Um, some good um, experience selling cast iron, certain brands. What's that one brand I sold? I forgot what it was called. But anyways, Wagner, it's not like the, the, the most money, but I'm thinking I can get like 60 bucks for all three of these, I think. I might be wrong, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Anybody have experience selling Wagner? Uh, baseball gloves, guys. I, I know my stuff when it comes to uh, baseball gloves. I If you guys don't know, when I was younger, I – Play little league, senior ball, high school. I was always on the all-star team. It was my dream. I was a shortstop pitcher. I was good. Um, in high school, I hung out with the wrong crowd and just kind of slipped away from me. But I was always a very talented baseball player, and it was a dream of mine. So I know my baseball stuff. Uh, here's Wilson. Some of the Wilson stuff's worth some decent money. This is kind of like it wants to be like legit, but it's kind of still like an amateur glove. Um, it's going to be an infielder's glove, probably shortstop or second base. It's nice, though. They wanted 10. I offered four, got it for five. This will sell for approximately 35, 40 bucks. Here's a left handed thrower, Nike Keystone Series uh, outfielder's glove. Um, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks. Paid a buck for this, paid four, uh, five for that. Uh, here's some batteries, brand new in the box. I think I'll get, I don't know, 12 or 13 bucks. I paid a buck. And this is everything that I found today. So if you guys are wondering, like, where do you get all this stuff if you're just coming in? Everything you're seeing right now is from today. Four hours hitting garage sales with my friend Tim Fisk. You can verify everything with him. He'll probably be in the comments. Um, but we did really, really well. These, I don't know what these are. Rock Shield, um, Cowhide. I don't know. What are they? Pair of vintage hockey gloves. Okay, so these are hockey gloves. Vintage hockey gloves for six bucks each. Sometimes I just buy things if they look cool. Like, how can these things not be worth more than six dollars? Like, vintage hockey gloves. Like, this thing's freaking awesome. Who wants to fight? Yeah, so, uh, man, I would not want to get hit in the face with these things. These things are strong. Um, Cooper Weeks 1085 is the model. I got these for six bucks, so uh, I don't remember what the sold listings were showing me, but I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, I'm assuming, maybe. I could be wrong. Yeah, so Joshua says, uh, I was going to say hockey gloves. Yeah, in the sun, it was an amazing day. Yeah, Griswold, that's that's the cast iron brand that I had sold before. Uh, let's keep moving. So this was interesting, guys. Sometimes I'll find something that just seems like high quality, and I'll look it up. Uh, the brand was G-I-V-I, G-I-V-I, -I, um, Moto Planetary Design. It just sounded weird and interesting. Um, conceived and designed by Givy, G-I-V-I. G -I -V -I. Apparently, they're going for like 40 bucks. this bag. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I, I, I promise you, I have no clue. But a dollar. Actually, they were asking three, and I got it for a dollar, so that was pretty cool. I didn't even see that there, so... Um, finally for, for gardeners, it's going for like 11 bucks, paid a buck. Um, also at the same garage sale that I got these two, here's another quick pro tip. If you ever find any older bikes like Raleigh's or, um, you know, maybe even some Fuji's or Columbia's always check the bike seat. This bike was for sale for 20 bucks. It's in my garage right now. It had a Brooks saddle, a B72 Brooks saddle, got the bike for 18 bucks. I'm going to take the bike and I'm going to just donate it to free, uh, for free to Goodwill because I just don't want to mess with it. 
and uh, it has issues and stuff, but it's a cool color. So I don't know. I'm just going to donate it and let somebody else have it. Um, but the bike seat is going to probably sell for 60 to 80 bucks. So I'm literally just going to flip the bike seat. So Brooks B72 leather saddle. Look that up. Really good money on that. So this was cool. And, oh, yeah, these are some really good finds. My buddy actually passed these up. He didn't see them. But uh, these are uh, Mosby's uh, studying cards or Mosby's. I don't know how to pronounce it. Brand new in the stretch wrap. Uh, fluids and electrolytes memory note cards. And then uh, pharmacology memory note cards. Uh, I believe these are going for $20 each around their new with pretty respectable ranks in the book category. I want to say it was the book category. So a buck each, guys. The little, little, little guys, they add up to some good profits. So hopefully this motivated you guys. For anyone out there who slept in, who just decided to hit the snooze or was out drinking late at night or just said F it and just slept in, this is what you could have, you could have, uh, you might have missed out on. These are the opportunities that are out there. Now, I do want to say it was a neighborhood yard sale in the town that I was in today. It's probably not going to be this profitable always where I live in Connecticut. There was just garage sale after garage sale after garage sale. I mean, they just kept coming. So it's not always going to be like this, but these are the opportunities out there, guys, in 2017. I don't care who you are out there. There's so many non-believers saying you can't make money on eBay. You can't make money on Amazon. Everything's a scam. You're a scam because you don't take action. You just think everything's a scam and you never try anything yourself. Try garage sales. Try eBay. Try Amazon. I mean, this is it, guys. Can't make this stuff up. Um, there's people out there who are killing it way more than me. I'm, I'm just a little fish in the sea, right? I'm just a part-time seller and there's some times where I go full-time, but right now I sell part-time on Amazon. I sell part-time on eBay. You know, I run a membership group. I run my YouTube channel. I've got, you know, a publishing business and different things, different income streams coming in. So this isn't even everything I do. I'm a nobody. I'm a little guy. I'm a little fish. I don't claim to know it all. I'm not a guru. I'm just a guy who was able to quit his job four years ago by hustling and finding ways to make money and finding ways to add value. So, you know, find a way to add value, wake up early in the morning, bring this stuff that's underpriced to market and, you know, make the, make the difference in between. It's, it's, it's just amazing guys. There's so many opportunities out there. Stephen Baldwin, man, killing it on hater.com. See you soon. Um, Mario too early in the season for garage sales in Toronto. Yeah. Um, you know, it just finally got warm out here in Connecticut. So there's like so many garage sales coming. No, Mama Profits did not go today, but Mama Profits and Papa Profits is coming over to my place tonight. And uh, we're going to be breaking in my new grill. I just got a, a wood pellet uh, smoker. So looking forward to that. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, I typically don't go garage selling on Sundays. I need those hockey gloves. I'm telling you. Hey, the straight eight. Nice job. Yeah, breach shop. I mean, who wants to pay full price? I hear you on that. So I'm just looking at the comments, guys. Yeah, so I appreciate you guys watching for sure. Thanks for uh, liking the video. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for uh, subscribing to my channel. I look forward to adding more video, uh, more more videos to my my channel and helping you guys out as much as possible. You know, that's what I focus on, guys. I focus on adding value, right? I don't focus on the haters. I don't focus on the naysayers. I don't focus on what he's doing or she's doing. I just focus on myself, improving myself, sharing my journey, you know, trying to add value to the to you guys. You know, I don't try to compete with anybody else. I'm just me, you know, just me in the flesh, my good, my bad, my imperfection. So hopefully you guys uh, can see the transparency through this video that I really am trying to help you guys out as much as I possibly can. And I want to see you guys succeed. Anybody can do this. Anybody can make an extra couple hundred bucks or an extra couple thousand bucks. Or there's people out there who are scaling it way past you know, what most people even think is achievable. So it's up to you guys to make it happen. This is what I found today. Got to get listing, got to get moving. So I'll be on that within the next couple of days. Let me see if there's any more comments coming in. Ashley says, always great content. Ashley, thank you very much. I appreciate that. 
on the upside, I'm extremely well dressed like Raken. Uh oh. Joshua says that photo cube from the other day was bomb, Steve. Joshua, I'm glad you uh, found value in that. I'm really enjoying my photo cube as well. Uh, Jane Weston boots. I don't think I've ever found those, but I've heard of them before. Shout out to Raken. T Team Tycoons, good to see you. Appreciate it, guys. Guts Broad, thank you. Thank you, Ellen Augustine. Thanks so much for the videos. You're welcome, Ellen. Thank you. So that's about it, guys. I got to get rolling. Uh, do me a big favor, guys, and hit the like button. Share this video. Keep sharing the love. Keep it positive. Keep grinding. Keep adding value. Focus on what you're doing, guys. Don't focus on the negativity. There's so much out there right now. And in the YouTube community, there's a, there's a subsection of people who are just stirring up problems. Stay away from them. Don't, don't take the bait. Focus on what you do best. Focus on adding value. Focus on making a difference. Focus on making things a better place, making this place better for everybody who's around you. Add value. Help people out. Make a difference. Focus on what you're doing and continue doing, doing it because good things are going to happen, guys. So appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video. Keep on picking and making that money. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.